Larks are perhaps better known for their beautiful songs rather than their brown cryptic plumage. In Britain there are two commonly encountered species, so how can we tell them apart? Skylark is one of our most common birds, found most famously in farmland, but also equally at home in the uplands, coastal marshes, heathland and even young plantations and forest clearings. The song of the skylark has got to be one of the most familiar and celebrated sounds in the British countryside. The males usually sing in flight, hanging in the air above their territories on fluttering wings, with an incredible incessant outpouring. Melodic and rolling, but apparently without catching a breath. The song keeps going for minutes at a time without ceasing even up to a quarter of an hour, often at such height that the songster is invisible. Don't be fooled, however, because at times Skylark will sing conventionally from a perch, such as a fence post. The glorious song can also be heard over a long period, with birds beginning on any sunny days in winter and carrying through until midsummer at least. When seen on the ground, Skylarks are surprisingly big and stocky birds, almost approaching the size of a starling. They can stand tall and be upright and alert, but they're more often to be found horizontal, often hunched or crouching. Pippets could be a confusion here, but skylarks are much heavier and with stronger, shorter beaks than any of the pippets. Skylarks appear to me as well to be surprisingly pale in coloration, white below and with sandy coloured upper parts. When alert, they show their characteristic and fairly large crest, a very distinctive silhouette when seen perched but when crouching or feeding, the crest is often flattened and invisible. When seen close to, the eye stripe can be obvious, along with the spotting on the upper chest, which stops quickly, not continuing onto the belly like in a thrush. In flight, the relatively large size is evident, emphasised by the broad-based wings. In good views, white outer tail feathers and a definitive white trailing edge to the wings are also obvious. The flight is fluttery, and birds will often trail low over the vegetation before dropping down again. Woodlark is a rarer species, although one that has undergone a dramatic expansion in range and population in the last few decades, but it is still very much a bird of southern heathlands and forestry. It was considered for a while a summer migrant, but it is actually a resident. It tends to move out in winter into nearby farmland, where it feeds on stubble fields, often in company with skylarks. The song is simply beautiful, a short but incredibly liquid, accelerating downward lilt. Woodlark's scientific name of Lulula is well earned. When seen on the ground, Woodlark is a much smaller bird than Skylark, smaller than a greenfinch, although with the same basic stocky shape and brown above, whitish below with a spotted upper chest of all the larks. Woodlark can show a short stubby crest, but it is much more likely to appear crestless. The colours above are richer than on a skylark, with a more boldly marked head. The white eye stripe is bolder and runs all the way round the head, meeting at the back. Much is written about the distinctive black and white wing bend markings, but these are actually very hard to see in the field unless you get the best views of the bird. By far a better feature is the very short tail. This feature is even more obvious in flight. In fact, the tail is so short, especially in comparison to the broad wings, that the bird can almost look like a bat. In flight, the black elbow on the wing is more obvious, and the tail also lacks the white outer tail feathers of Skylark. But again, the bird's shape will clinch the ID for you. Also, helpfully, almost all flying birds will call a liquid tutuli, which is utterly distinctive. This call can alert you to birds flying overhead before you see them. In contrast, Skylark has a range of hard, buzzy or rolling prits or prit prit calls. In most of Britain and Ireland, a lark is likely to be a skylark, but using the features described here, you should be able to pick out woodlark if encountered.